The Jersey City Fire Department got some much needed upgrades on Thursday. Officials announced the addition of two new fire companies to their department, something that hasn't happened since 1937. The department's expansion happens at a time when other municipalities are scaling back. Mayor Stephen Phillip called it a result of the renaissance the city is currently experiencing. And, uh, it speaks to the changing dynamics of the city and the need to constantly rethink public safety on how we can do better. The growing fire department is also getting new reinforcements by way of a specialized response team that will be trained to tackle high rise fires in a city that has drastically transformed its landscape in recent years and shows no signs of slowing down. I look out my window the other day, I counted 34 high rises that weren't there probably 10 years ago. Throughout the city, there's about another 19 on the books that are going up. And I talked to the building department, and they said there's about another 90 applications for high rises throughout the city. In an effort to save not only lives but money, the two new companies will be equipped with refurbished apparatuses that were dismantled and rebuilt with the help of the city's Department of Public Works. Along with specialized training, the department's new high rise unit will combat fires with new technology and equipment that includes battery operated tools, including power saws, exhaust fans, and lighting. These can be deployed instantly as opposed to the other units. You'd have to take the generator out, set up the hose, make sure you have the right hoses connected. This saves so much more time. The specialized units which will be housed in the two new companies will go into full-time service in time for the July 4th holiday weekend. In Jersey City, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.